Do you struggle with consistency? Maybe you start a new routine or start a new habit or make a promise to yourself, but then you really struggle to stick with it? You do it for a day, maybe for a week, but then things start to fizzle out and you're like, ah, why is this so hard for me? Why can't I just be more consistent? If that's you, you're gonna love this episode of Go Time TV because today's show is all about consistency. Consistency might seem like a boring topic, but I disagree. I think consistency is incredibly sexy. So let's talk about how you become a more consistent person. I've got some really good tips for you. Plus, later in this episode, you'll get to meet my hairstylist, Andrea, and we play a pretty hilarious game of Would You Rather. So you do not want to miss that. Here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things, we're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on Go Time TV. It's time for the question of the day, and this is the part of the show where I share a question for you, the beautiful person you watching right now. So what's one area of your life or career where you'd love to be more consistent? Post your answer down below in the comments. So for me, I think my answer would actually be complimenting Scott Hyatt, AKA the Silver Fox. I don't tell him enough how awesome he is. So post in the comments below and share. I'm excited to see what you say. So Andrea, Andrea is my longtime hairstylist. She was actually here at 6.30 a.m. touching up these roots. She's thrilled to be part of this segment. <laughs> but so Andrea, our theme for today's show is consistency, commitment, follow through, and doing things day after day. So I would love to play a game of Would You Rather. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've not let her look at the script. She has no idea what these questions are. So here's what I wanna know. Would you rather have Eric play loud music all through the house every single morning at 5 a.m. or have him scream for exactly five seconds every single night at midnight. Oh God, music. <laughs> music. He already that does terrifying. the music. He already does the music. He does? Yes. He, not blaring, I guess, but he'll wake up and just, just wake up like on point and just like music, computer. What kind of music does he like? All kinds. I mean, it's just very, he listens to everything. So it's so just real like, eclectic. very hmm. eclectic. It could be anything. I could wake up to it, literally anything. I think the music too, like that would be terrifying. Someone screaming at midnight. Yeah, no. We don't that like that. That would be bad, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather, what's your favorite meal first? Oh, I love seafood. I love seafood. That's my favorite. I hate bread. seafood. This oh is so fun. Okay, so yes. what's your favorite, like if I, if I was gonna, well, I don't cook, but let's say my chef, April, who you've had her food, she's gonna make you this delicious seafood meal, what would it be? Mm, I love like a good shrimp scampi. Mm. It's so yummy, I love pasta. I love, I guess, all those things. Okay, so would you rather have shrimp scampi every single night for dinner, every night for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. or never be able to eat that food again? Mm. Uh, I can, oh, that's a hard one. That's really hard, but you I- can never have it again, or every night. 
I would probably say not have it again. Honestly. I would too. Yeah, I, I couldn't eat the same thing I, every night. Me either. I yeah. mean, I'm trying to think. Like my favorite is fried chicken. Well, let me think about this. I know. I, I'm such a foodie. Like I, I so can't. My favorite choose. meal is fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans, mm -hmm. and a biscuit, and sweet tea. That's so good too. <laughs> so <laughs> would I? Could I eat that every night or never again? Oh. I, I probably, I probably would never eat it again. Cause I would get bored. Yeah, oh, I would get so bored. I would get bored. Okay. All right, so would you rather have mediocre sex every day without fail? So daily sex, but it's just so-so, or no sex all month long except for one night of absolute, mind-blowing, life-changing sex? The, the latter, for sure. I would yeah, too! For sure. Like, don't come at me with your mediocre no. shit. No, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, so once a month, yeah. and and also on the full moon. Once Ooh. a month on the full oh, moon. Oh, for sure. I'll take it. Yeah. All right. So, consistency is sexy, but did you know that if you write one page every day for the whole year, after one year, you'd have a 365-page book? That's a thought I had a lot while finishing my books. And did you know that if you walk your dog for 30 minutes twice a day, after one year, you'll have walked over a thousand miles. And over the course of your dog's life, you'll rack up 17,000 miles, which is halfway around the world. And if you're a business owner, check this out. Let's say you send an email to a potential client to introduce yourself and inquire if they would like to hire you. If you do this twice a week, just two emails a week, all year long, by the end of the year, you'll have pitched yourself a hundred times. All right, so even if only 10% of those people say yes, that's 10 paying clients and that's more money in your bank account. So it's amazing how those tiny wins add up to big things over time. So you don't have to do everything today. You just gotta do something today. And so one tiny win, one simple move, and then when you repeat the simple moves over and over, day after day, that's how huge things happen. When you're someone who's constantly starting new projects but never finishing them, or when you're someone who's constantly promising to do things but then not following through, over time, it starts to feel like your life is just one big long trail of broken promises. It doesn't feel good, and it starts to erode your self-esteem. So if you struggle with consistency and follow through, I have something I want you to try. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about your goal in phases. So phase one is beginner, baby steps, tiny goals, nothing too crazy, nothing that feels overwhelming. And in the beginner phase, you want to accomplish some really tiny goals and get a couple of tiny wins under your belt so that you feel motivated to keep going. Phase two is intermediate, building momentum and tackling slightly bigger challenges. And phase three is advanced, big goals, big challenges, big shifts, big results. Olympian level, masterclass level, above and beyond. If you try to leap, right into phase three, advanced, you're almost guaranteed to feel overwhelmed and flake out and give up. You're setting yourself up for failure. But when you progress gradually from phase one to two to three, you're setting yourself up for success. So here's an example. Let's say you wanna take excellent care of your body and you recognize that physical movement is really important. So you wanna start exercising consistently. And right now you're doing zero exercising, nothing. So for you, the progression might look kind of like this. Phase one might be doing 10 minutes of gentle stretching on the ground before bedtime every day. That's it. You're not breaking a sweat. You're not leaving the house. You're not even standing up. You're stretching on the floor. Very chill. You're gonna do that consistently seven days in a row and you're gonna feel the pride of accomplishment and you're gonna retrain your brain so that you feel like, all right, I got this. I'm a person who can do things consistently. I'm doing it. And then you'll graduate to the next phase, phase two. And that might mean you're continuing your daily stretching and you're adding a short daily walk too. 
And phase three might be you're continuing your daily stretching and your daily walk and you're adding a Zumba class maybe three times a week too. So with each phase, you can build upon your previous victories. Nail one thing at a time and then build to the next phase from there. Now here's the thing, most people want to rush right into phase three immediately, like boot camp seven days a week. Most people don't want to take things in stages. Most people, like me, are very impatient. I can relate. But when you rush to the phase that's beyond your current capacity, you're setting yourself up for failure and discouragement. So imagine sending a toddler into an advanced high school calculus class. That toddler's not going to succeed. So whatever you're trying to do with more consistency, whether it's developing a daily writing practice, yoga, reading, working on growing your business, or turning off the phone and unplugging more, I strongly encourage you to do things in phases. Write down your goal, and then write down your plan for phase one, phase two, and phase three. And be specific about what you're gonna do at each phase. And remind yourself, I'm gonna get to phase three and beyond for sure, no doubt. I will eventually get there. But I need to get there gradually, and if I try to get there right now, it's likely that I'll feel overwhelmed and fizzle out and struggle. So I'm gonna do myself a huge favor by doing it in phases. All right, Boo Berry, I hope that gives you some good ideas to chew on. And look, to give you some hope, Please understand that I used to be the ultimate couch potato, never exercising, fast food junkie, and now I'm someone who exercises daily and I consider myself an athlete. It was a gradual journey to start from there to here, and I started with some really tiny steps. I didn't jump into phase three immediately. I worked my way through the phases, and you can too. So start with phase one and celebrate each victory along the way. The more of those tiny wins you can stack up, the more excited you'll feel and the easier it becomes to keep going and be super consistent. This has been Go Time TV. Woo! -hoo! Thank you for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired and ready to create a little more consistency in your life. Because when you make a promise to yourself or to somebody else and you keep that promise day after day, it just feels so good. I should read this to one of my contractors. For sure. <laughs> it really changes your life. Consistency leads to all kinds of miracles. So if this show has brought some positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Don't miss any episodes. We dropped some gold here. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. You only get one life. Make it big, make it bold, and make it count. It's go time.